What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to another brand new video. So today is the day the Broly movie comes out to theaters in Japan, and also the premiere happened and stuff like that. So I just thought let's let's do something intriguing today, and I did something similar where I was talking about the what if uh, for Gohan. If you got purple hair, this one I actually thought of doing something different, which is literally telling kind of a story of how i feel like maybe the second movie for the broly should have changed i will say yes it's different than exactly what the second movie is but i thought let's change this up a bit because i like to see if we can make broly something similar to what this new movie is going to be now we know for a fact that broly does end up going to another planet and literally um is peaceful with goku of course because goku hands him capsules and food and like shelter and stuff like that so even though goku doesn't like get harmed by broly or anything uh we know for a fact that broly doesn't really care much of goku this is kind of how i felt um, by that perspective and I kind of changed the second Broly movie bear with me on this by the way because hopefully this uh, Will go out smoothly, but if it does seem like that I am missing a few parts here and there I do apologize, but anyways, let's start with the second movie of Broly um, Second coming I guess you could say so anyways the first thing that we all know is that it starts off where Goku and Broly are on that fight um, on that planet or whatever, then I, I don't know if it's a nameless planet. I, I can't remember, uh, what that planet was called, but anyways, they're doing a battle and instead of, you know, of course, Broly exploding from the punch of Goku, I thought to change it up because mostly in super, uh, nowadays it's always, uh, you know, the command made away. Well, in DBZ 2, I guess you could say as well. A lot of people were a bit concerned of why Broly blew up after a punch to the gut, which... I kind of wanted the same thing too, because I never knew that if you punch a guy through the gut, um, that a Saiyan would explode. Or in Broly's case, a legendary form would make you explode. So I changed this part up where instead of him getting punched, he gets blasted by Goku with the Kamehameha wave and sends him flying uh, off the planet. Now, anyways, of course, I, I know for a fact the planet is far, far away, but I'm just going to say that it was pretty close. I'm going to point that out. Let's just say it was close to Earth and also to that he ends up uh, floating uh, in space for just a little while because we know for a fact that the Saiyans, of course, um, can't fully breathe in space. But I guess technically with Vegeta and Nappa, then technically, I guess, in the original Dragon Ball Super at the beginning, they technically did get out of their space pods and did breathe. And plus with Goku and Dragon Ball Super, he did breathe in space. So technically, I guess you could say they can breathe in space, but at the same time, I, I, I don't really know how this works out personally. I, I just know they sometimes breathe, they can't breathe in space. I don't know the concept. Anyways, so as Broly is floating, he ends up getting into the gravity, of course, um, uh, that pulls him in, of course, uh, to Earth and sends him in the north. Yes, of course, this is kind of similar to the new Broly movie, but let's just move on from that. And if you do remember, technically, the second movie does have the Arctic a bit. And that's kind of where this is going to be le leading off to. So as Broly's been knocked out for a bit, of course, the snow starts piling on top of him uh, during his rest or moment or whatever. And he all of a sudden wakes up. He gets out of the snow, of course, wondering where he is at all. Like, he's never seen something like this recently because, one, he was just blasted and went into space. So anyways, as he wakes up and he's looking during his surroundings, wondering what the freak just happened, he gets a flashback all of a sudden, and he know he remembers that he got defeated by Goku. Now, as he's starting to get pissed off at this point, you can tell that the energy is circling into him like as he wants to turn into a, a Super Saiyan, of course. All of a sudden, this kid literally says, Hey, hey, come over here, over here! So as Broly is concerned and wondering what the hell is going on right now, he was like, you know what, forget it, let's, let's just see what happens, let's go with this. He know, even know for a fact, yes, this guy is like probably the devil, he even said himself, right? So, of course, in his case, he would, you know, play along and act like something is normal, I guess you could say, and see where things turn out. Now, anyways, as he goes over to the kid, he is telling him the, that he would like to build a snowman. 
And of course, with Broly's vocabulary, he's not really the best at speaking a lot. I would like to point that out. He doesn't have a lot of vocab. He's he was like that during. He he just had the vibe that he didn't know a lot of words, but he knew a bit when he was in his ultimate form. Um, so I felt like you know he technically didn't have a lot of vocab, which if you do know in the new movie, he technically is the same way again. Doesn't really have a lot of vocab. So I thought, well, why not? We'll keep it the same way as it is. And uh, we'll just leave it that way. So anyways, as he is trying to figure out how to pronounce snowman, the kid notices that he, you know, he doesn't really can speak that well. So he's trying to help him out saying snowman. So as he was trying to teach him that and, you know, put trying to give him a hand with this, with the snowball, putting the head up, he all of a sudden says, see, snowman, this is what it is. Now, anyways, of course, this kid isn't the most uh, happiest kid on earth because one, of course, he sees these three kids showing up and all of a sudden starts pushing this kid. Now, this is where memories triggered, of course, again for Broly because he's starting to think of Goku humiliating him, of course, when he was a child. Now, at this point, Broly is starting to get really pissed off and... You could tell that, like, in his eyes, that he would, he's getting these moments of, like, feeling that he wants to attack something again. So, anyways, at this point, he grabs the kid that was bothering this child that he's with right now, lifts him up, and he's like, you want to die. And then all of a sudden, this kid says, put him down, don't kill him. And then all of a sudden, he just had this weird feeling to let go. And all of a sudden, he just drops the kid. And he just, oh, and then the kid just ran away. Now, at this point, Broly says, why? Why would you allow this kid to live? Wouldn't you want to kill this child? And then, of course, the child says, no. Why would I want to kill him? But he said, I do appreciate that what you did for me, though, uh, mister, for saving me from these bullies. So anyways, the child gives him a big hug. And all of a sudden... Broly is wondering, like, why is this kid hugging my leg all of a sudden? And he's never felt something like this before. And he's concerned. So he pushes the kid off his leg and says, Scram, I'm out of here. And then he leaves. He's out. He takes off. But as he starts flying, he realizes once he gets close to the town that... Guess who he sees? He sees Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Videl. Yes, they are still in this story, of course. We're not really changing much out of the second movie. I prefer that, yes, he does meet Gohan instead of Goku. I like that concept for it. But anyways, he recognizes Gohan and thinks this is Goku. So anyways, as he's going down to give him a... Like, probably he's saying, like, I'm going to give this guy a fucking real knuckle crusher right now. So as he's going down, literally feeling the pain, being devastated that he got defeated by Goku, he literally goes down and slams right into Gohan, but of course Gohan sensed him right away, and literally grabs his hand as he was trying to throw that punch. But as the pressure was really building into that, literally that part of the area of the, the town got blown away, because it was it's like that marketing place, of course, that was... Um, in that area where go where Goten and Trunks were like buying food or whatnot. But anyways, Marketplace starts getting blown away from that punch, and all of a sudden Gohan's like, We have to move this somewhere else. We have to get out of this area. And we can't let these people get hurt. So Gohan just takes off automatically because he knew Broly was gonna fall no matter what. And of course, what happens? Broly follows him in anger. He starts yelling and says, Kakarot, and he just goes after him. As they get to this uh, forest area, everything is just going as according to plan. You know, the fight keeps going on and on and on. Um, and Gohan is trying to stall or whatnot and trying to figure ways of how he can take out Broly since it's been so long since he fought Broly. So as he's fighting him, he realizes that, oh shit, he can't really take on Broly this way because he just transformed into the legendary Super Saiyan. Of course, since Broly goes berserk in this form, he literally takes Gohan, throws him to the ground, and literally devours his man, is destroying him. Then as he's doing this, then Goten and Trunks show up, and fuse to be Gotenks. Now, they're only as Super Saiyans at this point, because they feel like that Super Saiyan 3 isn't worth it, of course, for their time, because Gotenks is very stubborn, and he just thinks that, hey, 
I don't need to go Super Saiyan 3 against a Super Saiyan because to him, a legendary form is just a Super Saiyan. He just thinks, oh, well, if you don't have long hair like me, then I don't have to go all out. So as he is taking out Gotenks, he realizes, oh shit, I think I might have did something wrong here. So he literally starts throwing Gotenks around like a freaking like a Hulk with the Loki, just throwing them everywhere on the ground, just beating the shit out of them. And then as his blonde hair just devours back to black, um, then uh, he realizes that Goten is done. So he starts smashing them, of course, in the ground, which gives Gohan a bit of time to recover and go after Broly once more. So as he is going after Broly, he starts trying to beat the shit out of him by Super Saiyan 2, and he realizes that, oh yeah, this is actually working. Why didn't I try this in the first place? Frank, this would have worked down the, the, this whole time. But anyways, of course, Broly is still trying to keep up with Gohan and stuff like that. And of course, they're, he's pushing him back and just keeps going back and back and back. Broly realizes that, man, this guy, wait, what happened to Kakarot? Like, he is so powerful and stuff like that. Even though Gohan is like, tell him that I'm not my father, I'm the son. And I know Broly doesn't pay attention to that because with his traumatized moments, of course, he doesn't care. If you look like Goku, you, you're Goku in general. As he's like, Kakarot. How dare you become stronger than me and stuff like this, this whole time. And as Gohan is like, we have to like finish this dude off. Like we have to kill him or somehow like do the Kamehameha wave or whatnot. He is about to like try to obliterate this guy. So Broly's on the ground, literally a bit unconscious. Well, not a bit unconscious, but like he's not knocked out, but he knows what's happening. He, he's just injured. So as he starts charging up the Kamehameha wave, all of a sudden, he hears in the background this child saying, Stop! Don't hurt him! And Gohan stops and sees this boy that Broly met. And all of a sudden, you see this kid crying, going, Please don't kill this man. He saved me and all this stuff from these bullies. Don't do it. All of a sudden, Gohan looks at Broly and he sees how injured Broly is. And he is not, he's not pleased. He's, he still wants to kill Gohan no matter what. He's going to do it. Like, if they allow him to get back up, he's done. But anyways, so, as Gohan is about to allow Broly do his thing, Broly gets back up and sees the child, of course, and is literally wanting to beat Gohan so badly at this point, to the point that he wants to literally obliterate him because he's already being destroyed again. He takes off immediately. But he takes off and he just hides in the mountains or whatever uh, in the Arctic where nobody would find him ever. So probably the North Pole because we know for a fact that, you know, there there's an area in the North Pole where there's nothing there. That's the, I'm going to say that just in case I feel like, you know, I, I don't want to say that he's near Santa Claus. So <laughs> I'm just going to say that he's in the Arctic somewhere where the glaciers are. And that's pretty much it. But other than that, guys, let me know what you comments down below. Um, I really tried making this uh, fully good. I, I wrote down some notes here, of course, um, for what I want to say. And hopefully, I feel like this might have been like kind of a better story. Like, I'm not saying that the Broly movie, the second one, was good. I, like, it was good. I'm not saying that there was anything wrong. But, like, if we wanted to change him somehow for the better then I feel like, you know, having a child trying to change Broly would might help because technically Broly is still kind of like a child either way. And that's the only thing I can think of is maybe having another child trying to make Broly good again. I'm not going to lie, I did add a couple of things as I, was talk as I was going through this that I didn't write down. But anyways, yeah, so... Maybe Gotenks probably would have taken out Broly, but either way, um, I didn't want to use the Super Saiyan 3 form for one particular reason, was because if he did, well, um, of course, uh, we, we already know what would happen. Broly would be obliterated. There, there was no doubt about it. So that's why I kept him uh, where Gotenks just thought that he didn't have to use it in general until he realizes, oh yeah, maybe I should have probably used it in general. I would have taken out the dude as soon as possible, but that, that's kind of the reason why I, I didn't want to 
make him go Super Saiyan 3. Uh, but other than that, guys, hope you guys are watching. Hit that like for more. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think about this story in general. If that's what happened in the second coming. Because technically, if Broly took off because of the child. Because he knew something inside of him is making him feel like starting to care a little. But at the same time, he doesn't care about it. But I, I understand. He's a devil. He, he really just didn't like anybody. But... I felt like if he was in his normal form, that maybe he would actually care. I, I it just feels like bro. It feels like Paragus just told him that he had to be this this assassin to just kill everybody. But if you think about it, there are actually movies that do stuff like this. That they'll have children grow up and then all of a sudden have them literally just be. Assassins like they grow up to be assassins. They tell them to have no emotions nothing and then of course in the movie They meet you know someone and then they realize oh shit. I actually have emotions this whole time You know and now I'm starting to feel these feelings and and that's kind of what I wanted to go with uh, with this uh, With this what if story I guess you could say is have this assassin guy or technically he's not really assassin He's more of like just a, you know just an abomination to destroy everything. Um, that I wanted him to have a bit of feeling into this story um, because he was traumatized as a kid and having this other kid who might not be as traumatized as Broly but is always being hurt and stuff like that and having Broly having something similar feeling saying like this kid is going through shit that I kind of went through, maybe not the same way, but he probably feels exactly how I feel with Goku. And I don't want this to happen to him. So that's kind of what I was trying to go towards too. And if you guys like that concept for an idea of maybe Broly saying like, I'm still a bad guy to you guys. I still hate you, but this kid's around and I can't do this in front of him right now. So I'm just going to leave. And I'm just going to mind my own business for the rest of my life. And don't ever come see me again. Or I will kill you. So that was kind of the concept to end the whole scenario right there. But like I said, let me know down in the comment section below uh, your thoughts about it. I think that's probably a good way of ending off Broly is that he is not a good guy or a bad guy. But he is definitely someone that you don't want to mess with. Or he will actually become a bad guy towards you personally. Not, not to the rest of the world. But just to that person personally. So, but other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.